Greetings of the day. Welcome to 15th session for course numerical methods and computer programming. So now, in the previous session, we studied how to find out the best fit curve for the straight line. So that means whenever there exists relationship between x and y as linear relationship, then you can go for fitting a straight line. But many times, when you carry out some experimentation, the relationship between x and y may not be linear. If you take example of vibrations, or example of we can say temperature variation in the heat exchangers, or we can say thermal equipments, then there exists relationship between x and y. That is, that means input and output as which is not linear that means it can be non linear or we can say random relationship for such cases fitting a straight line may not help so we have to go for fitting various kinds of curves which may give you accurate prediction so from this particular session we will try to fit various curves and here we will start with the parabola. So now for a cases where the data is very scattered, fitting the straight line may produce the error. So now if you take example which is shown here, so for case B the data is very scattered. So if you fit a straight line, for this particular data it will produce some error. So for such cases fitting a parabolic equation or we can say a parabola or a quadratic equation will definitely help for the accurate prediction. So the method of finding uh, method of fitting a parabola or quadratic equation that is y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c is called as polynomial regression. Consider an equation for a parabola or quadratic equation as y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. So from the previous equation we can write it directly as the error which exists between the experimental data and the best fit curve data that is e square is equal to summation of a x square plus b x plus c minus y whole square. So now differentiating the above equation with respect to constant a and equate it to 0. So we get dabi e square by dabi is equal to 0. So by differentiating this equation that is summation of a x square plus b x plus c minus y with respect to a, we get equation as a into summation of x raise to 4 plus b into summation of x cube plus c into summation of x square is equal to summation of x square into y. Again we have to differentiate the previous equation with respect to constant b and we have to equate it to 0. So, dabi e square divided by dabi b is equal to 0. So, we get equation as a summation of x cube plus b summation of x square plus c summation of x is equal to summation of x into y. So, for fitting a parabola, we get one equation as this one and another equation as this one. Again we have to differentiate the previous equation with respect to c because we have three constants here. First constant is a, then the constant is b and then constant is c. So again we have to differentiate the equation with respect to c and we have to equate it to 0. So we get dabi e square by dabi c is equal to 0. We get equation as a into summation of x square plus b into summation of x plus n into c. Now here n is nothing but number of observations is equal to summation of y. So now 
solving equation 8.5, 8.6 and 8.7 that means differentiation of the equation with respect to A, B and C we, we get equation 8.5, 8.6 and 8.7 we get the values of constant as A, B, C so that means we get 3 equations and 3 unknowns so you have to solve for these 3 simultaneous equations using Gauss elimination method and then you can find out value of a, B and C and then you can put it in the equation of parabola to find out the best fit curve. So, which is y is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. So, now let us try to understand the various steps for solving the problems of for a parabolic or quadratic fit using the various steps. So, as we know that the very first step is we have to find out the various values at summation of x, summation of x square summation of x cube, summation of x raised to 4, summation of y, summation of x into y and summation of x square into y. So, for this particular task we have to write all the values of x and y in first column and in the second column. Let us take one example where there are 4 observations of x and corresponding observations of y. So, I will write all values of x in the first column, all values of y in the second column x into y in the third column, x square in the fourth column, x square into y in the next column, x cube and x raised to whole in the subsequent columns. Then I will take summation of all x, I will get value as 10, summation of all y is 34, summation of x into y is 104, summation of x square is 30, summation of x square into y is 352, summation of x cube as 100 and summation of x s to 4 as 3, 5, 4. So, now the task is since we get all the values, we can go for substituting these values in the 3 equations. So, first equation is a into summation of x s to 4 plus b into summation of x cube plus c into summation of x square is equal to summation of x square into y. So, it is 354A plus 100B plus 30C is equal to 352. Similarly, we can put the values in the second equation. We get equation as 100A plus 30B plus 10C is equal to 104. Similarly, we put all these values in third equation. We get it as 30A plus 10B plus 4C is equal to 34. So, now we have to solve these 3 equations because we have 3 unknowns and 3 equations again 3 simultaneous equations. So, you can use you can solve it using Gauss elimination method and you can get answer as A is equal to 0 0.5, B is equal to 1.3 and C is equal to 1.5. Now, we can substitute these values in the equation of a parabola or we can say a quadratic equation. So, we can write it as y is equal to 0.5 x square plus 1.3 x plus 1.5. So, this is how a steps for finding out or fitting a parabola can be followed. So, now let us take one example following is the data given for the values of x and y fit a second degree polynomial of the type a x square plus b x plus c where a b c are the constants given data is x is minus 3 and corresponding y is 12, when x is minus 2 corresponding y is 4, when x is minus 1 y is 1, when x is 0 y is 2, when x is 1 y is 7, when x is 2 y is 15 and when y x is 3 y is 30. Now, here number of observations we have to count, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, a small n is, is also equal to 7. Now, we will make a table. I will write all values of x in the first column, then values of y, then x into y, then x square, then x square into y, then x cube and lastly x raised to 4. Write all these values and find out all these terms for each observations. So, summation of x is 0, summation of y is 71 summation of x into y is 82, summation of x square is 28, summation of x square into y is 462, summation of x cube is 0 and summation of x s to 4 is 196. Now, we will substitute these values in these 3 equations. 
so we get these three equations as let us see the values summation of x is 0 so that means if you put summation of x is equal to 0 so that means this particular term so this term will be 0 it will become a 0 and even x cube that means summation of x cube is also 0 so this particular term again it will be 0 so the equations which we get after substituting these values are 28a plus 7c because again summation of x is 0 this term will be 0 is equal to 71 then we have x summation of x cube is 0 so it will be 0 this term will be 0 then 28b again this term will be 0 is equal to 82 and lastly we have summation of x raised to 4 is 196 so 196 a this term will be again 0 and for this particular term we have 28 summation of x square is 28 so 28 c is equal to summation of x square into y which is 462 so is equal to 462 so we can we will get, we'll get three equations actually third equation is not written here but you can substitute the corresponding values and you can get the third equation so we can write these equations in matrix form or you can solve it by Gauss elimination method directly or you can solve it by calculator also. So, you get value of C as 1.6666, B as 2.9285 and A as 2.1190. So, the required equation of second degree polynomial is nothing but y is equal to x square plus bx plus c that is 2.1190 x square plus 2.9285 x plus 1.6666. So, this is your final answer. Now, let us go for <coughs> the next example, fit a second order polynomial using least square technique. So, when it is called a second order polynomial, we have to consider the quadratic equation as y is equal to x square plus b x plus c. Number of observations since those are 5, small n will be equal to 5. Again make the same table for x, y, x into y, x square, x square into y, x, to x cube and x raise to 4. So, substitute these values in the simultaneous equation, we get 55a plus 15b plus 5c is equal to 37.5, 225a plus 55b plus 15c is equal to 132.5, 79a plus 225b plus 55c is equal to 532.5. So, again we have three equations and three unknowns. By using the Gauss elimination method, you get answer for c as 1.5, b is 2 and a is 0. So, you will, you will get equation as y is equal to 2 into x plus 1.5. So, these two are the numericals which you have to solve for solve as a homework. So, you can consider these two numericals as homework and you can solve it at home. Thank you.